health coach and a holistic health coach for Owl Venice, and I am going to show you how to make instant pot kitchery today. So kitchery is one of my staple foods. I eat it pretty much every week, um, at least once a week, and it's also a traditional Ayurvedic food that's used medicinally and, and routinely as well. So it's used for seasonal cleansing in the fall and the spring, and it's also used in a time you're just kind of feeling under the weather or run down. It's called the Ayurvedic chicken soup. And so I started to get bogged down by making kitchen because I would always have to have a big pot of rice and beans on and it takes a while. And then I came across the Instant Pot and I found a way to make kitchen in 15 minutes with perfect consistency every time. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. We're going to use the owl beef bone broth as the base of the kitchery. This gives the kitchery a really nice, warm, hearty taste. You don't have to use the beef bone broth. You can absolutely use the vegan broth as well. For any vegans or vegetarians out there, I have made this recipe with our vegan broth and it's delicious. We're also going to use carrots in the recipe today. We're going to use fresh ginger root. And then I have all our spices here. We're going to use cumin seed, fennel seed, coriander seed, and ghee. Shout out to our friends at Fourth and Heart. Their ghee is amazing. So to get started, what we're gonna do is you'll turn your Instant Pot on to the saute function so that it gets nice and hot in here. And then we'll take two tablespoons of ghee and put it into the pot, the barrel, I don't know, whatever it's called. And the saute function works really well because it will heat that ghee up really, really quickly. It looks like the ghee is warmed up. It's completely melted in the Instant Pot. So I'm just gonna add the spices in and then get a wooden spoon and just stir them around a bit so that they're covered completely in the ghee. These are browning up a good bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so that the spices don't burn. And then I have about an inch of fresh grated ginger here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the fresh grated ginger into the pot, stir it around so that doesn't burn. And then we'll go ahead and add all the ingredients. So I'm gonna put a whole jar of the bone broth in. You'll want five to six cups of liquid for your kitchery. I like five cups because it keeps the kitchery just a little bit more of a thicker consistency. If you like your kitchery to be a little bit more soupy, then you'd add six cups. All right, so one jar of bone broth is four cups, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour the bone broth in. So that was four cups. I'm also gonna just add one cup of filtered water into the mix. And then I'll do the half teaspoon of turmeric powder, now that I have the liquids in there. And we'll also do half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. And again, if you were adding any other spices, this is when you would be adding any of your powdered spices. And then we add the rice and the mung beans. So one of the cool things about the Instant Pot is that you don't actually have to soak your beans overnight. The way that it, uh, the Instant Pot pressure cooks it is, it makes it a lot easier to digest. So I found that I don't have any digestive issues if I don't soak the beans. If you do know that you're sensitive to beans, I would recommend still soaking your rice and beans overnight before you make this. So friendly reminder, always rinse your rice and beans. Whether you soak them or not, I always rinse them before I put them into the Instant Pot. Okay, so I have all of my spices and the bone broth and the rice and beans in the Instant Pot. The last thing I'm gonna do is add the vegetable. Again, the vegetable is optional and you can add as many veggies as you want. I'm gonna use carrots today. Most of the nutrients for the carrots is on the skin, so we don't actually wanna take the skin off. It's important to always get organic carrots, scrub them really well, but then don't peel them. All right, so everything is in. I'm gonna give one good stir. Turn the Instant Pot on, so put the top on, make sure it's on ceiling. And then we just do manual high for 15 minutes. Press start and then you're good to go. Okay, so the Instant Pot finished and I press cancel and just let it naturally release. If you're short on time, you can always just do the pressure release or let it naturally release, which it takes another like 10 or so minutes. So I'm going to remove the top, it looks perfect. And then just take a nice 
a big spoon and stir the, the kitchery around. What we're gonna top the kitchery with today is some sliced avocado, some lime, just a little bit more ghee because I love ghee, and then some chopped cilantro. You can play with any type of fresh herbs that you like. Some chopped parsley on there is really good or even basil. Sometimes instead of the avocado, I'll put steamed kale, spinach, or chard on top to add a little bit more green. But again, play with the flavor profile and make it taste however you like it. And I hope you